It's Ken Nizzy with MrTruck.com doing another cool review. We waited for trucks for a while and I was so excited to get this lighting. It is a 2022. Izzy, how much power do we have? 580 horsepower and 775 torque. Well, believe it or not, we're reviewing a truck again. We've had to do a lot of other things and we love doing accessories, but you know, we're trying to catch up with trucks. Next week we get a Suburban. This is a 2022 Lightning. We're gonna tell you all about it. But we're back up here in Poudre Canyon. Did I ever tell you what Poudre, Poudre Cache Poudre means? No. Well, back when I was a kid, like in the 1700s, these fear fur trappers, they did a lot of beaver trapping along these little rivers through Colorado. Mm -hmm. And there was this one winter when they, they got started too late and they hit a big blizzard right around this area and they couldn't, you know, they had pack mules, they had all this stuff, gunpowder. All their supplies and it was just snowing too much they couldn't get through with all that stuff so along this river they buried all that gunpowder and stuff oh. and that's the cachet it's, you know it's a french word it means you know store uh -huh. and then pooter means powder gunpowder oh. so somewhere along this river a whole bunch of cool stuff yeah and so that's why i got called that and they started calling it that after they went through the mountains several times and this is probably i don't know 1600s or 1700s but anyway, it was, uh, that's the story there, but beautiful scenery through here. Now we got snow, a little bit of yeah, snow. It's not it's deep. a little different. Yeah. And it's lightning, which you probably don't know. This is independent suspension, rear end, independent coil. It's like a five link, kind of like a Jeep has or a, or a lot of vehicles. Mm -hmm. And we're not towing a vehicle. I am tomorrow going to put an ATV in the back because it's got onboard scales. And you put in the bed. It weighs, and you put it on the tongue of uh, the ball, it'll actually weigh your tongue, weigh okay. your trailer. It won't weigh your trailer. you got to get that number figured out. That was like the, what Ford truck did we drive? It might have been the King Ranch. Yeah, it had all I these same it toys. The King Ranch too. And this has got all that adaptive cruise. It's got everything. It's got, uh, you know, the, the Lincoln seats. And these are massaging seats, and they lay down flat. That's so we'll nice. try all this stuff out. Yeah, it is. It's, Does it have the foldable? Console? Yes, the console, all this stuff goes down. We'll show all that stuff because it's a lot of stuff. And it's got plug-in, plus it's electric. It's, you know, 7.2 kilowatts. You can charge your house, and then I guess you have to hire somebody to come charge your truck because you're, mm -hmm. you're dead by then. No you juice. You anywhere. Yeah, and towing traders with this, it's supposed to be rated, this is rated to like 7,700. But in the top end, if you get everything configured right, you can go 10,000 pounds. Well, you can for 100 miles, and that's about it. You're not gonna go much further than that. So that's the future. Someday we'll have solid state batteries and they'll get the longer range right now. And that's a problem is it's winter in Colorado. So when it's, you know, five to 10 degrees, you have a lot of problems with these batteries. Just like my camera battery, one of these is 85% and it was didn't like that at all. Let me turn all these on so we can see the cool stuff. But anyway, so even my camera batteries didn't like this cold. But the batteries really surprised me. And I live close to Greeley, Colorado. So there are a lot of charging places there. That's where I went this morning and had to eat breakfast with Billy Jim because you know it took, took an hour and two minutes or hour and 10 minutes to get it up to 90%. Up. Yeah. yeah, and what I've seen with this one, a lot of people, the reports I've read that you, you're, you lose 40% of your storage capacity these batteries when it's really cold mm -hmm. well my experience has been at 50 percent because we did charge it up and the one i was using was a 1200 1200 or 120 let me find all my notes because i'm this electricity thing something new to me but uh yeah if i got when i got up to 90 percent charge they gave me uh it was an 80 percent charge I think I went to 90 on this one. I couldn't go any more than 90 this last go I've charged it twice. And you have to go download an app and then of course load money in it and all that fun stuff. So this one is supposed to give us 187 miles. And I only drew it here to Fort Collins and they're down to 128. So uh, that means holy cow. Yeah. That's yeah. 60 miles we lost going 40 miles. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I charged it up to 90%, I guess it was. 
or two days ago and it took an hour and a, and a minute to do that somehow it's faster and that puppy I think I've got yeah, no I'm sorry not today I got to 90% two days ago I got to 80% and that was a 50 minute charge and when I left home it was about 30% and that was 25 miles and then when I went back home and it showed 100, 210 miles 80% charge and I only went 30 miles and I was down to 140 miles of range according to the computer I lost 70 miles going 30 miles going 30? so that's more than 50% so mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about the range at all. I mean, I worry about even making it to town because yeah. of that. You don't know, but if you're like now we got 128 miles. That means you may have 60 miles. So we got to get this thing wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. What happens if you run out of charge? You... Well, you push it over into the river and hope yeah. somebody tows it out. <laughs> no, you probably have to call somebody. I don't know if you call Ford or who you call them. Come boost you or come charge, charge you. Charge yeah. And that would be a slow charge, whatever that would be. Maybe we can find a Tesla on the road and. You know, we got a plug-in thing in yeah. here. It came with one of those house chargers. It's not as easy as calling someone to bring you a gas tank. Yeah, it's 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 a whole new world. And I think when they get solid-state batteries, when they get you know a three, four hundred, maybe even a five hundred mile range of the ten thousand pound trader, then I'll be excited about them. Right now, that's why we're not towing a trader because we know what it'll do. I mean, we'll find out what my ATV weighs tomorrow with the onboard scales, but. Uh, but it's getting better. I mean, for a while on the highway, it was getting uh, 1.4 miles per kilowatt hour mm -hmm. uh, is what it was averaging. And now I'm up to 1.6, might even hit 1.7 on the interstate. So if, if conditions were right and it wasn't this cold, we'd be getting, you know, two miles to every kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn all this crap. And, and of course, on this 15 half inch screen, it will uh, you can look up all the closest charging stations, which is really nice. I finally got one by Kersey, which is really close to my house, but it's a slow charger. I'd have to leave it overnight and walk home, but that ain't gonna happen. So anyway, I guess my thing now is going, and what killed me about going to Village Gym is nice yesterday, or day before yesterday, I had an apple or I had a pumpkin pie and coffee. I was so happy. And you know, and this time I actually had a full breakfast, but the guy who owns the parking lot, which wasn't Village Gym, they charged me, they charged me like $10.10 for parking there for an hour. Oh. And that's not the electricity. Electricity is more than that. It was, uh, they're saying I charged it, that they charged me up at 61.395 kilowatt hours. And that cost basically $29.47. But with tax and the $10 parking fee, I got up to $41.56. Oh, dang. So I'm not sure now that I'm saving anything over anyway, gas. Yeah. So, you know, and that's, but you think about it, you got the battery, only has so much space in it for storage. And then like in the winter, you've got your heated seat, your heated steering wheel, your fan, your defroster, all this stuff's going on. And I don't think that charges, takes a whole lot and driving is what takes it all. Right. But you know, when it's cold, it's just not, not the best option. But I'm sure there's a lot more people out there that have experience in cold weather and how they work around it. But you got to charge them more often, from what I can tell. And we don't really have our setup to charge at home yet. But uh, yeah, run a lot of stuff on here. But the coolest thing about this truck is how scary fast it is. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I, I've, I've been on all the four proving grounds, and you know, they're they top in all their cars, their trucks out at 105, and we've done all that. I've been in a TRX and it's a it's an animal. I think it's the top speed was over 120 or whatever it was. And I've been in an SRT 10 that did 140. We did brake test at that, and all those were fast. But this one is like that's yeah, scary fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you pulls you into the headrest and stuff goes flying all around the cab. I want you to experience that, Ethan. Yeah, maybe not on <laughs> Canyon Road. Might yeah, that's true. Go around a curb because you will probably go straight off into the river. Yeah. I learned that just passing a bus yesterday. I couldn't believe it. How fast it was. I just gave it the gas. I didn't I didn't think I was full throttle, but maybe I was. But anywho, it's a very interesting truck, and this is so loaded. I mean, this has even got a rear locker. It's you know, it's got a motor in the front, a motor in the back, and it basically is a front wheel drive, and it must be a wheel slippage thing that kicks all four wheels into action. But uh, it's, I really like the rear suspension on this, and you know what. Andre with TFL's down it. They they towed up the Ike, and they said it squatted less than their 2,500 Ram leaf springs. Yeah. Well, no, it had coils. It had rear coils on that. So this is rear coils. It's five link, 
it actually rides pretty nice and it's of course it's quiet it, it, there's nothing to make noise in it mm -hmm. but there's also a button on here where you can actually set propulsion noise and I need to turn it up because I don't know if it sounds like a V8 or if it just sounds like a grizzly bear growling at you but huh. we'll go through that it's 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 pretty cool stuff and then it's got that one pedal thing I don't know if you've had any off-road vehicles did we ever drive anything we did one pedal with uh I think the Raptor had yeah, I can't remember. One of those off-road trucks did have it, I remember, but we didn't yeah. try it. But. Well, this has it, and that means that when you're going up a hill and you're climbing mountains, which I wouldn't do, it's got great skid plates, but it's got not great tires, not great nose clearance, or, you know, uh, what is our departure and approach? The approach angle is not great on this. But what it would do is when you do that you can use your cruise control to actually set your speed you know one mile an hour at a time and the Raptor a lot of their vehicles had maybe it was a Raptor that had mm -hmm. it on but I think it was anyway what happens is it sets the speed and then if you want to go faster you can put the gas pedal or if you just want to set that speed with the your, your cruise control and then if you hit the brake it slows you down or if you actually if you don't have to hit the brake that's why I call it one pedal all you do is hit the gas because oh. if you let off the gas and the brakes kick in uh -huh. so you only worry about one pedal that's why it's called one pedal which is really cool and somebody that had this before me had that set on I couldn't figure out why every time I was trying to coast or slow down it was slopping stopping, stopping. Me. so I found the button shut that off but yeah it's got it's really well loaded I mean it's got massaging seats I love massaging seats yeah those are the best yes panoramic moonroof it even has a sprayed in bed liner in it but this puppy it's got a is. giant screen too. Oh yeah, it's a Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.tv. We'll be right back. <laughs> Find a snow banked to climb. Test it out. Yeah. It's got all the skid plates, which is cool, but it, yeah, I would I wouldn't trust these tires going up a mountain. If we are doing some off-roading <laughs> well it's not really slick out there is it not too bad oh it's hotter than hell it's 80 30 it's 80 it's 35 degrees it definitely just went up it was 28 a little bit ago yeah yeah it's uh it's good and that's probably why we're getting better now hit the okay button because it, it says that the low tires are just froze they're cold so they're actually going to read low but Oh wow, we're up to 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. That is too cool. And you see when I hit the brake over on that left gauge, whenever you hit hit the brake once, you see, you see it. There, see it opens in the bottom. And that uh -huh. shows you how much it's regenerating by braking. So you too cool. Break it. Did you change the colors on this? No. How come they turned? The well, green? I don't know. Maybe because it's warmer. <laughs> I don't know. It was blue and now it's I know. yellow. It was blue and green and now it's yellow. Maybe it <laughs> maybe that expresses anger. The truck's mad at us. I don't know. I think it might be the heat. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. We gotta read the manual. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh oh. I don't really understand that. So you wanna brake to get power but don't your brakes go out quicker if you brake well in yeah it's it's braking to charge the battery regenerative yeah. uh, charging but it's like when you're coming down a mountain and you put it in tow home mode even if you're in, if you're not braking if the transmission is downshifting on its own yeah that also would give regenerative braking so that's usually what happens on these mountains like we're here at seven percent on i-76 14 thousand feet if you hit the brake and, and, and grade shifting with the brake or grade shifting on its own, yeah. it will also charge the battery. So that's amazing how well that does in the mountains. I was, I was surprised. There's a lot to learn about these electric trucks, so I'm glad they're not going to get real popular for a few years because I still got a lot to learn about them. But I think, you know, that's if they don't get extended range out of the batteries, it's not going to really help me any when I tow traders every week. So. That's how you got to judge it now. It's not really a trailering machine, mm -hmm. but for it'd be great for a parts truck getting around in the city, just like the cars are. Saving money if you can charge at home or in your office, and then take off and just drive short distances. You can drive 100, 200 miles without a trailer. I mean, you can do fine. Yeah. What if you kind of live in the middle of nowhere, though? 
Oh, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. I'm in. I'm. I'm in. I'm 25 miles in each direction to a town, a small town, and that's, you know, why I was worried about. It. I had to go all the way to Greeley. Kersey had a small yeah. charger, which would take all night. Greeley has the fastest ones there by 7-Eleven. They're off of. Uh, it's off of 34, Highway 34. But it looks like we got up to what? Uh, wow, we're clear up to 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. So that braking's kind of helped us. We're actually gaining so, ground. We're gaining power. Well, yeah, we're gaining battery. Yeah, it's adding right power juice to the battery is what it's doing. So we have longer range. That mm -hmm. helps our range, which is what we're trying desperately to do. I kept somewhere I read where there's a button you can push, something you can do to warm the battery up when you first you know start it when it's cold. It's supposed to extend your life, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah. I'll have to do some research on that, see if there is such a button that exists on the truck to help warm up your batteries. I know some of the other uh, EVs do that. And this is cool, you know, because those batteries heat up, so it's got liquid cooling going to the battery. But I don't know if they, I know they're coming out with something to heat the battery up, which would extend your battery life. But yeah. Yeah, the first time I calculated it out, on kilowatt, what it cost per kilowatt was 43 cents. And then it's kind of gone up from there. But uh, yeah, it just bugs me to pay 10 bucks because I parked there. Yeah. I don't know if there's I another place there. in Greeley I can charge because that Makes just doesn't make sense. But you know, that's a nice thing when it's going to take you an hour to charge up. Having a restaurant there or a gas station or a coffee shop, Something to anything. Know. Yeah, anything would help. Because what are you going to do with an hour? Sit there and you can't stores, run the maybe truck. Maybe go grocery shopping. Yeah, yeah. If they put some by Safeways and all that. But, you know, you think about it. it you can't keep it running while it's charging. So you're going to freeze. You can't sit in the truck and freeze. freeze so yeah. you got to go somewhere in the winter. So they need to make some uh, cooperations, cooperatives with other places that would give you something to do that you need to do anyway. Because you're going to be wasting a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Any other way, unless you charge at home and don't drive that many miles, you're okay. And I, for the first time I charged, you know, as a village inn, I, I, so the cost of this thing also went up eight bucks because I had to buy pie and coffee. So that's part of my expenses. You yeah. Know. Somebody's got to pay for it. I wonder if you can get like a a membership or something to where you don't have to pay that ten dollars every time. Yeah, there's got to be other, because I know there's some of the bigger systems for charging, and I don't think they charge you anything, because that's the whole purpose of them, is yeah. charging. And I can't remember what they're called, but I know TFL uses them a lot. I mean, it's Charge America or something like that. And that probably would be a better deal. I don't know if we have any of those. All these are charge uh, charge points with the ones I've gone to, and, and really. But anyhow. Do these trucks give off, like, a lot of exhaust? Probably not. No, well, there's no exhaust. There's no engine. Not at there. all. Yeah, not at all. So there's no so noise, basically, other than just probably you know, better road for noise. like the environment. Right? Yeah, that's what it's all about. So now you got to decide: is generating electricity to run these? Like in California, you know, when they had all these forest, all these fires, and all these other going on, they had trouble giving enough electricity for all electric vehicles in California, mm -hmm. so they don't have blackouts. So the infrastructure has got to come. We've got you know, Tesla's put in a lot of charging stations along the interstates. And, you know, we've got to get more of them uh, that we can charge up at. Now, Ford will tell you in here, through their accumulation of all the lightning sold, what the average person, the weight of the trailer, the distance, the, the grade of the road, uh, the configuration of the trailer, whether it's really aerodynamic or a box. And they can put all that in their computer, and you can access all that. Uh, but when you do your towing system in here and put in, you know, your name of your trailer, all that stuff, then it'll actually tell you what your expected range can be with that type trader, that much weight and all that, which is really mm -hmm. cool. But that may only gain you, you know, a couple of miles. It's not going to gain you a significant amount. But they're working on that stuff. So, you know, hopefully they get this solid state battery out so we can get some capacity. But yeah, I mean, this is a fun truck. It's it's awesome to play with. So many toys on this thing. Mm -hmm. It's got LED projector with dynamic bending headlamps. Wow, the light bends. That's cool. That's that's futuristic. Yeah. It's got LED side mirror spotlights. Oh, uh, they're stuck on. It's a removable tailgate. I'm sure you got to unwire some stuff with all of the stuff that's in it. Um, folded extended mirrors. Okay, 
because these aren't towing mirrors. 10-way power driver and multiple adjustable passenger front seats. Yeah, I like the second row heated seats. That's that's a good thing to have. And this is a luxury vehicle. You should have every toy known to man. It's got that interior work surface on the tailgate. Multi-con, multi-contour seats. Yeah, it must have been right out of a Lincoln Navigator or something. That's what it looked like to me. And we didn't show you the foldable storage under the back seat. We showed you that before. It says a lot of the same toys that that uh, King Ranch had. If you before it, you loved that truck. That was like your favorite yeah. truck. It's mine too. King Ranch is. King Ranch is a good one. Yeah, when I uh, win the lotto, 18 yeah. speakers. I thought it had more than eight. But wow. Active Park Assist. Evasive Steering Assist. Does that mean it avoids deer? What does it mean, evasive? spot telematics lane keeping system that's all part of that blue cruise and we're they won't have that on this road they have it on the interstates i was trying it out the other day and that's what it is take your hands off the wheel take your eyes off the road and it shuts you down jeez maybe we can put duct tape over the camera we were talking about the, yeah. getting some fake hands and getting those googly eyes on the glasses really yeah, suggesting that putting them on we'll try to the forehead yeah well we will uh, fake out the old computer it's got, oh, it's got the Max Trader toy package, which is good. You want that because that should give you some more cooling, I would think, for the battery. Because, I, you know, you're stressing out the battery. I don't know. That's just my theory. I'll have to find all that out. Rapid red paint. Does that make it dry faster? It's rapid. Rapid red. Air more aerodynamic? Speedy. I don't know. Yeah. Electronic drive e locker, so it's good that it's a locker. The clutches, you know, it's much better to have a locker. But this is a new enough one, it's probably a prototype, so there's no prices on anything. So we had to calculate all this out. Did you like the frunk? That's a place the to put frunk, your yeah. you probably put some hay bales up there or something, maybe because it's got quite a bit of room. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean, that's they, they show a picture of two golf bags. That's what's supposed to go up there, but I don't golf. Should put, some... you know, put five shotguns up there or something. Oh, yeah. And that's two if you don't have a 15 half inch screen, and it does all kinds of things. I think you got to have a co pilot with you to run the screen so you don't get distracted. Yeah, you got to figure it out at least. Yeah, we said still, we'll play some of the buttons. It's got a lot of cool stuff. All I figured out was how to turn on the heated seat and steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need right now. And it's really cool on the stereo, there's a button you push and you can move it, like surround sound, you move it where the most volume's coming from mm -hmm. by pushing a button and dragging it around. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of toys. It takes a lot to explain. I'm sure you guys have seen all this before. And it's so cool, I couldn't put a camera outside, so I've got a camera in my window here. I hope that all works for you so you can see the river, see the mountains, see some of our no more rafters. Yeah, that's weird. Rafters are gone. Well, they can just kind of <laughs> they can scoot on the ice now. Yeah, just slide, slide on down. Ice rink down there. Yes, indeed. Yeah, if you get the home charger, you'll, you'll drop your price way down because you're not going to charge yourself for parking. And then you, you know what Tommy was saying, TFL, you you could charge the whole truck up for like 13 bucks, which would really be cheap. And then if you do it at night. The rate goes down at night, mm -hmm. and because they're not everybody's using their in the summer their air conditioner, they're not using all their all their uh, stoves and stuff, and their cook stoves and their microwaves, so you can get a lower rate at night. But yes, indeed, I say this thing was ninety three thousand dollars. Yes. I mean, how much? That's that's probably a four thousand dollar a month payment. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> oh, 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 as much as a house payment. I know it. And this has got front front camera, which I love. I like the Lincoln seat. It's got the cool bolsters. It's got everything. But you know, this is also rated to be like a three-quarter ton. It's not quite a heavy duty or a super duty. But it's got an 8,550 GBW gross vehicle weight rating. So I'm surprised that it has a fuel mileage rating because that makes it a basically a heavy duty. So there's no reason for the EPA to be doing this. But of course they did it because they're bragging about the fuel mileage on this. 
And the fuel mileage is MPGE. E means equivalent to a gas vehicle, which is crazy because this shows the average of 66 miles combined city highway on MPGE. And it shows city 73, highway 60. And then it shows you burn 51 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So that's about two, two a mile. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's about 200 miles. That'd be, well, let's see, what would that be? That'd be 100, that would be one kilowatt per mile, which I thought they were supposed to get two kilowatts an hour. But anyway, MPGE, yeah, that gets confusing because they give you some weird numbers. Mm -hmm. 7.2 kilowatts at 7200 watts 22 inch wheels this is awesome big old wheels yeah and they're you know it's a small they're not really an off-road wheel because it's a real small uh sidewall which means you're not gonna have much tire flex so you would think it would ride a little but it's got a real nice ride to it curb weight's like around seven thousand pounds it's all-wheel drive front motor back motor new yeah wherever you want to stop we'll do some other things uh, looks like payload. I gotta look in our door because it may be 16, 19. Their max is like 2200. And towing in this 10,000 10, at the top end. This might be 7,700. I couldn't find it. It's got the zone lighting. Of course, it's got the panoramic moonroof. Yeah, propulsion mode. We'll go through there and look at this. But you know, it shows here fully up there with the extended battery. I think I'm supposed to have 131 kilowatt hours on board. 64 seconds and or 60 sec 60 60 seconds and zero to 60 miles in 4.6 one more time supposed to 4.6 seconds do 60 miles 60 miles an hour which means an on-ramp kind of speed and this is unusually it's got the heated rear seat and we're going to show you all the cool stuff and the brake control is wonderful i'm going to show you that on camera you've got a very good spot and it's got the the frunk. Should the we go to our old yeah? Spot? Let's let's. You want to do this one? Yeah, I like this. One. Okay. Looks nice and sunny too. Yeah, we got to find us some good light. There won't be any rafters unloading and getting in our way. Oh. And I'll show you the frunk. You think up there in the sun? Yes, that'd be great. The frunk, you know, is that front trunk. The frunk. The frunk. Ford likes creating words. They got that intelligibility. They've got, they call an engine exhaust brake an engine brake like a semi has. So they like to confuse everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's all marketing. I don't really like it. Now what's cool is the warranty on this is eight year, 100,000 miles on those components. That's how my Fusion and the hybrid was. Everything to do with the, the hybrid side had seven year, 100,000 miles. This is eight year, 100,000 miles. So hopefully you'll trade it off before you have to worry about recycling your battery or whatever that's going yeah. to take. That's how that goes. Yep, and the fronts are coils, coil over suspension. It's like a wishbone type thing. Auto cover or a shell. If you got, if you got rain coming, you can put your put groceries up there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of practical reasons why you'd want that. You can hide the grandkids up there. I'll have to try that. Any one of them doesn't behave, they go to the front. Yeah. <laughs> and, You're locked in the front. They'd push the escape and, button. Yeah, we'd until lose, they we wouldn't know where we were driving. We wouldn't, yeah, we'd lose all of our vision. We'd have to drive. Oh, I like this. Oh. <laughs> massage seats. i got to get massage seats. Yeah, they're nice. But if you get them too nice, then it makes you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 